you got caught sneaking into a movie. What do you say to the usher to convince them to let you stay? Abby Crutchfield. Hey, it's perfectly natural for cows to smoke after milking. Okay. <laughs> let <Okay>. me in. <laughs> <laughs> that brings up John Roy. There's a cock ring in my Happy Meal. Ew! Mm, bribery. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, why don't you goose step that dick on over? <laughs> oh my goodness! He has a type. That's a yeah. That's 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 a tough choice for that usher. Now you got two similar options. Jason Marcus, what do you got? On Bizarro Earth, the Fourth Amendment gives bears the right to human arms. <laughs> <laughs> it's antisocial skills. The party game written by comedians, so you know it's written good. Here's how to play. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, theys and thems, and Roombas who become self-aware, it's time to play antisocial skills. The rules are easy like Sunday morning, manic like Mondays, Ruby like Tuesdays, TGI don't know what day it is anymore. Here now are the rules. You, the players, will navigate eight situations using lines written by America's Funniest Comics. Your mission? Use the lines to react to situations in the funniest way possible. So now, please log on to our website to play. The website is asskills.com. Again, that website is asskills.com. And click play now! You should see three situations and three possible responses for situations you encounter. The way it works is the judge reads the situation. For example, the judge might say, to end a fight over politics at Thanksgiving, you stand up and say, players get 10 seconds to pick a response from their hand and deliver it. For instance, they might say, I don't care about the evidence. I still think OJ's guilty. Then the player who read the situation picks the funniest response and they get a point. Some of the situations have a challenge attached that everyone needs to do. If there is a challenge, two points are at stake and they may not be split. The winner then becomes the next judge. After eight situations, the player with the most points wins. This is not golf, drunk driving, or a U.S. presidential election. Like with the mail, delivery matters. So the funnier or more convincing you say a line, the more likely you are to get a point. You go to an interview for your dream job, and your interviewer is your crazy ex. What do you say? While fake crying, John Roy. Sweet mother of Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> Abby Crutchfield, you say. <laughs> Why don't stamps ever lick us back? <laughs> <laughs> fair question. A fair question. Jason Marcus, you meet your ex at that interview, and while well, fake crying, you say. I miss the good old days when they just sewed our mouths to each other's buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Your crazy act to understand. I think a reconciliation might be in the works. Here's Mike Kaplan, <laughs> fake crying, saying to his ex and possible boss. Uh, just to be clear, I don't think any of the things that you said would work in that situation, but I think that this one is going to be the one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's settle this mano a mano by kissing and both getting mono. <laughs> <laughs> romantic, romantic, so romantic. That leaves Jenny Zagrino. You go to that job interview. You have to fake cry. You say to your, your ex and possible boss, I don't care what people say. But Hitler had a lot of bad ideas. <laughs> <laughs> taking a stand, taking a stand. I like it. That's brave. Michael Martin, oh, who won this, that one? You got this some is, tough choices, my friend. This is, this is actually really tough. I don't even remember um, what I said anymore. <laughs> I think I'm going to give it to Mr. Marcus. Yes. Jason was Marcus. Marcus. The good human, old human, was human centipede always wins in any situation. Yeah, I liked it too. It had some optimism about getting back together, reminiscing on the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> and you already made yeah, some Yeah, there's it's definitely a lot of innuendo in that one. Here is the situation. After scoring the game-winning touchdown, you look right into the camera and say, oh, I see there is a challenge. You must say your response with your worst British accent. Oh, God. Oh, let me set you up again. 
<laughs> after scoring the game-winning <laughs> touchdown, you look right into the camera and say, John Roy, with your worst British accent, if the game is taking shits in gas stations, I'm Tom fucking Brady, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> no British person yeah. has ever said Tom Brady. Here we go. Mike, oh, Mike Kaplan, you scored the game. Dino, aren't I? <laughs> Mike Kaplan scored the game when he touched down in the worst British accent, you say. Of 400 people in the world, and I'm the only one who doesn't know how to account. I'm a British. <laughs> Put up for, Hands for down the worst. Sir, Sir Mario, everybody. Man. Sir Mario. <laughs> Here's uh, Jason Marcus scored the game winning touchdown. He has a bad British accent, and he said, Oh, bollocks, don't look at me. I voted for the blue MM. <laughs> <laughs> worst in a different way. It's a ringo. Just the worst. Popeye is also British. All the right, blue here we go. I forgot what I was doing. That's what I was doing. Abby like Crutchfield, you scored a touchdown. You got a bad British accent. What did you tell the camera? What? Ro Rolf Nader's day? He's Rolf Nader, right? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. A statement that's also kind of a question. I like that. <laughs> Leaves it open for Reddit. Here comes Jenny Zagrino. She's got a bad British accent. She scored the game winning touchdown. She looks into the camera and tells us all. <clears throat> Where were you when you planned nine, <laughs> 11? <laughs> Virtually back. Oh, I love it. I love it. The lost Game of Thrones. And that's me, <laughs> Michael Martin, who has a terrible British accent, but he's very good at football. He scored the game winning touchdown and he said, What's the laundry on that tomato? <laughs> oh, oh. Those action films with. Jason wow. <laughs> you are all okay. terrible. And he just blew up a building and he said that. <laughs> the for that round, for that round, I give two points to John Roy. Congratulations, hey. John Roy. Oh, blowing me. Excellent job. Excellent job. <laughs> right out of the gate. Here we go. Uh, Jason, uh, you are now the judge. All right. Can I get a sitch, please? While brushing your teeth in the bathroom mirror, you accidentally summon Bloody Mary. How do you explain that to her? <laughs> oh my goodness, you summon Bloody Mary. Why do you owe her an explanation? Accidentally while you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> John Roy, what do you say to Bloody Mary? Who do you think you are, Steve Gutenberg? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. man. I, I don't know. It's kind and of... she faded Everywhere. away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have to ask you, does, does she know the ghost that was in Three Men and a Baby? Are they friends? We'll talk about that later. Well, Abby Steve Crutchfield. is the only guy I expect to see in my bathroom mirror. That's true. Three Men and a Baby. Abby Crutchfield, you, you, you summon Bloody Mary while you're brushing your teeth, and you say to her, Hey, I'm a grown-ass man, not a grown-ass man. <laughs> okay? Like that. A little bit of a curveball. <laughs> Okay. She ought to know. She needs to recognize. Mike Kaplan. Mike Kaplan. You, you summon Bloody Mary while you're brushing your teeth, and you say to her, Don't eat where you shit. <laughs> hmm. Good point. Good point. I don't want her to eat me, and this is where we both shit. I, I, yes, yes, yes. We're on, we're on the she same page. She only drinks herself. <laughs> also, don't shit where you eat is an expression, and so I just moved some of the words in it. Uh, does everybody understand everything that I intended now? Nope, we'll oh, talk yes. later. Michael Martin, <laughs> Michael Martin, you tell Bloody Mary when you summon her by mistake? I wish that just once I'd see a ghost who wasn't a kid. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah, just one time. That's nothing but mm. bad luck. Once. Just a mature ghost who knows, knows what, it's been around the block, right? Like a very elderly ghost. Yeah. What are kids going to know? It would be nice. And a, they're useless, especially the dead ones. And that brings up Jenny Zagrino. You summon Bloody Mary in the bathroom mirror while brushing your teeth. You say. I regret that I have but two girls for one cup. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Every time I try to forget that video. That's so patriotic. Okay. So I believe our judge was Jason Marcus. Am I correct? Yes. I, I'm going to go for sure. John Roy. Uh, oh, Steve Gutenberg. Oh. I mean, I all, all, all credit goes to Gutenberg on that one. I was just. All, uh, all credit goes to Steve Gutenberg. Goose. Always. That you were the Gutenberg. Do it. That was a good response. Good response. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> we'll talk later. We'll talk later.